Hey folks, John Bernackridge here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. Today we're taking a look at the OSU permaculture template and we're taking a look at the climate area. And when we get into climate, there's lots of different resources when it comes to wind. Uh, there's a couple that I go to quite commonly. One is windy.app, windy.app, because I really do like this chart and it gives me a good idea about what am I dealing with in terms of winds. Now, because Calgary is just east of the Rockies, and Calgary again is the example I'm using for my template, uh, it tends to get quite a lot of wind from the west from the Rockies. And what I like about Windy is that it takes um, meteorological uh, information from and wind information from local airports. So you can go through all or 2019 or 2018 or 2017, start to see a bit of the highs and the lows over the years. And generally I'm looking for all. I'm trying to get a, a sense of what are we looking at in general. So this is a great diagram, which I really appreciate. So I'm gonna do a screen grab and just take that. And then we're gonna go back over to my, and I'm gonna put it, well, yeah, that's kind of gone the wrong place. So we're gonna go back to my charts and I'm going to paste. Now, I don't need either of these, so I'm just going to highlight both of them and get rid of them. And then I'm gonna bring this here, bring it over tends to be a little slow because I'm running um, a few things at once. I'll make that a little bit bigger for our intents and purposes. And again, if you ever want to keep an image the same size, just hold shift. Um, sometimes it'll do it automatically, but if you hold shift, it'll hold its relative um, interaction between this. And we're just going to go historical. We're going to name this historical wind data Calgary. Alberta, Canada. And again, we're gonna go back, make sure we grab the URL, come back here, make sure that we've got it. And then I'm gonna just muck about here. We've got a few little formatting things to go through. And then make sure that accessed on this date. So just gonna go accessed December 14th, 2020. Don't need this other one over here. So we're gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna pull this a little longer and make it a little smaller. And ta-da, we've got our wind sector. Now I'm not crazy about the fact that it's just down here. So I'll probably make um, a little title and I'm a big fan of just stealing titles from other slides. So I'm gonna pop up here, grab this, make sure that I've highlighted this, copy, come down here, paste, and I'm going to add to this and just say historical wind data. And I'm gonna pull out the right-hand side of this so that way it's quite large. And I like that I'm doing these titles, so I'm actually gonna go back here and make sure that I just put a little subtitle here. Critical weather events. And again, pull this out so that way we can see it. Awesome. So now we've got critical weather events. We've got our wind events. We don't need these little yellows down here. So I'm just gonna highlight and hit the delete button, super easy. And then we're gonna go on to our SWOT analysis. I'll see you in the next video.